Hey guys, today I have got another lip swatch video. Um, I love, love doing lip swatch videos. Um, I've got a, quite a few that are sort of like in um, the works. Um, I think I've got one that I've filmed that I haven't edited yet. I've got this one that I'm going to film today. I have another one that I haven't filmed yet. And then I should have a fourth. I'm waiting to hear back from a company um, about swatching some lips, lipsticks for them. Um, but I really love doing lip swatch videos. They're really fun. They give you an idea of the wear and the colors and um, today what I've got is all 10 of the new On Natural Sustain Matte Lip Stains uh, and I love these. So the first one that I got was in the Beauty Heroes quarterly makeup subscription box that was recently released. I'm also wearing the blush that was in that box as well. I think it's pink champagne or something like that but I've been absolutely loving this blush. I've worn it quite a few times. Um, but I really loved the formula of the lip stains and the one that we got in that box was Hero. So then when I was in Dallas um, for the IBE, Beauty Heroes always does like a lunch. And um, Ashley, who owns On Naturel, was actually there so I got to meet her and they gave everybody the color on point and I like absolutely fell in love with this. I wore it um, the, that day to the IBE. I absolutely love this color. I've worn it on camera a couple of times as well I believe. Um, and I absolutely just love this formula. So um, they sent me the rest of the collection to swatch for you guys. So I've got all 10 colors, which I'm really excited about because there's some really beautiful colors in here. I really love the formula. I really love the wear. I love the scent. I love the ingredients. I just think these are a really, really fantastic product. And I love the updated packaging on the On Natural products as well. I just think it suits them so much better than the silver packaging that they had before. It's just more modern and sleek and um, I just, I love it. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. So um, I'm going to, my brain is like fighting me. I want to go from like uh, in alphabetical order, but then I also want to go from lightest to darkest. So I think I'm going to do um, light to dark. And then we're going to start these uh, lip swatches. So before we get into the swatches, let's talk about On Naturel a little bit and the formula and like a brief review of these. So On Naturel is a entirely vegan makeup brand, which I really love. Um, and they've recently rebranded and come out with a bunch of new products. I think they're actually still releasing some new products. I think there's um, eye pencils or eyebrow pencils or something. There's, there's a couple of products that are still in the works that haven't been released yet as far as I know. But they recently rebranded and released a bunch of new products. All of their products that they had before are just recently repackaged. I don't believe there's any, there's been any reformulation on any of them. Um, and like I said, they're an entirely vegan makeup company. They do not use dyes in any of their products, which I think is great. I love the Sustain collection, especially because these are really, really neutral colors and they can be worn um, really heavily. They can be worn sort of more blotted down. They're really versatile. And then when you wear them, they wear really nicely throughout the day. And while they're not transfer proof, they will like sort of leave, leave a mark if you, you know, drink something or kiss somebody or whatever. Um, they do wear down really nicely. They don't leave that sort of like ring around your mouth as you've worn them throughout the day or as you're eating. I can eat um, and then a few hours later, my lipstick still looks really, really good. It still looks like it's there, only just a little bit more worn down. And it's... They're nice and matte looking. They're, I just really love the formula. They're comfortable. So the ingredients also in, in the stains are really, really nice. Castor seed oil, jojoba seed oil, palm oil, cocoa butter, uh, shea butter, and then there's an organic flavoring, which it doesn't say what it is. Then there's iron oxides, titanium dioxides, micas, manganese, violet, and vitamin E. There's no animal byproducts, no synthetic preservatives, no nanoparticles, no gluten, parabens, fillers, dyes, or toxins. So really, really clean. Um, they're probably the cleanest lip stain formula that you're gonna find, um, at least that I have so far. Um, and they're a really great matte option if you're looking for matte lipsticks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started working from lightest to darkest. And we're gonna start with Crushed Bloom. So this is Crushed Bloom, which is a light, like peachy, peachy pink color, like a little bit pink, more peachy. Um, for me, this is probably going to be my least favorite of all of the colors just because I don't often wear colors like this. Um, but if you do like sort of like more peachy, lighter shades, I do still think it's pretty. Um, I just think for my skin tone, it might be a little bit too light. Um, but I think if you're really, really fair, this might look really good on you. So this is Crushed Bloom. So this is Camel. And actually looking at looking at it online, I wasn't sure like what kind of color this would be because I think the swatch is a little bit different online. Um, but I actually really like it. I think it's a very flattering light tan nude color. Um, it's it's sort of it doesn't lean too too brown. Um, it's enough to still be 
just like a really nice neutral nude like you can wear it every day so this is camel so this shade is on point which I think is probably going to be the most universally flattering shade it's such a beautiful everyday pink color I I wear this all the time I think it's a fantastic color it wears really nicely it looks the same no matter what you're doing throughout the day um, they do dry down to like a matte matte finish they do have a little bit of a shinier finish right now just because they haven't dried all the way down and I'm not waiting until they dry down in between swatches but I really love the way this dries down um, I love the color it goes so nicely with so many different skin tones that I've seen people wear it on I just think this is like a super super flattering color and um, I really love this one this is probably my favorite but there's a lot that I haven't tried yet <laughs> so this one is mousse and this is a darker brown nude shade um, than Camel was. I think this is the brownest shade that they have. I think all the rest are more um, like berries or darker reds or um, oranges. I think this is the brownest one that's in the collection. But again, I still think it's a very flattering brown. I didn't necessarily think I could pull off browns, but I actually really like this shade. I think it's a very wearable brown nude color. And if you like those sort of like darker brown nudes, um, Camel and this one are definitely very, very beautiful options that you can check out. So this one again is Moose. This one is Purple Rain and looking at it in the tube, um, I definitely think it's, it's more, it's more muted purple than it looks. Um, I'm sort of afraid when it comes to purples because I think they're going to be like way too over the top and non-wearable, but I think that this is a very wearable purple color. It even, it's like I was saying, it's more muted and a little bit, um, grayer I think than it comes across in the tube. I think it comes off um, more wearable than it portrays here and even on the swatch online. So um, this is Purple Rain again. I really like it. It's a very wearable purple color that you could wear. Um, I don't think that there's anywhere that you can't wear this. It's not like I was saying, it's not too over the top. And any of these colors you can blot down to get more of like a like a sheer wear. Um, but I just I love the colors as they are fully applied, which is what I've been doing. I've been fully applying them. Um, but I think this color is beautiful. If you like purple colors, definitely one for you. Purple Rain again. This one is Marsala. And I think this one is almost more of like a berry brown. It's not like a brown, but it's not berry. It's not red. Um, I think it's more of just like a berry, a berry brown color. Um, again, very neutral, very pretty, very wearable. Um, I think all the shades sort of like hit it out of the park and... Um, this is Marsala again. This one feels almost a little bit more creamy, like it's going to take a little bit longer to dry down. And I don't know if that's going to be the case with um, a lot of the darker colors. There's four more left after this. Um, but this one, it hasn't dried down yet. It feels a little bit more creamy than the other ones did. Um, so this one is Marsala again. So this one is Terracotta, and it's one of those really beautiful orangey red shades. There is one more shade that I think is a little bit more red. This one is more of like an orangey red or like a burnt orange. I really love colors like these. They're just very flattering. I mean, at least for me, I think that they are. And um, I just, I absolutely love this color. So this one again is Terracotta. So this one is Salsa. And instead of being more of like a traditional red, I think it's more of like a burnt red. It's not orangey like the terracotta one was, at least not in my opinion, but it's more of like a burnt sort of maybe brown red. Um, I would love to see, this is the reddest color that they have, I would love to see like a, like a red, like a true red in this formula. Um, I hope that that's something that they're working on because I think that that would be a great addition to this color range. Is it just like a, a true red or maybe even like a blue based red? Um, just all the reds. I love love this color too. It's just very flattering. So this again is Salsa. So this one is Going Rogue. I'm having trouble deciding sort of like what color this is. It's not like a purple. It's not a red. It's not a brown. It's like sort of in between all three of those colors again. Sort of like I think Marsala was. It's sort of like an in-between color. But if you like sort of darky, darker, vampier colors, um, I think Going Rogue and Hero, which is the next one, are going to be really good options for you because these are two of the, the two darkest shades in the line. So this one again is Going Rogue. And the last one we have is Hero, which is the one that was featured in the Beauty Hero Seasonal Makeup Box and was my introduction to the, not only the, the stains in general, but the, the whole rebrand of On Naturel. Because I was not, I was familiar with their brand before that, but I wasn't, um, I hadn't tried, I think, any of their products, really. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with the stains. 
Um, the only thing is the darker shades are a little bit harder to apply, especially if you're not used to working with, you know, doe foot applicators like this and, you know, really dark shades and getting like a really crisp, clean line because I'm definitely not. This was my worst attempt. I did wear this one a little bit more blotted down because I did wear it really full in the Beauty Heroes video, so I wanted to do it a little bit more sort of like sheared out and uh, blotted down. So I like it both ways. I like them really dark. I like them blotted, blotted down. Um, I just really love these colors in general. Um, I think my favorites are definitely Terracotta on point. Um, I really liked Camel. Moose was also really pretty. Um, and Salsa. I love sort of like the reds and the nudes. But there's definitely something for everybody in the line, um, whether you're looking for a nude or a darker color or a pink or a red or an orange, whatever you're looking for, I think you're going to find it in here. And I can only hope that they're going to keep adding to the line and adding more beautiful colors and all of that. So that is everything that I've got for this video today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you're planning on picking up any or if you have picked up any what your favorite colors are or if you're planning on picking up any more. I just think they're a really great formula. I love the, wear, the way they wear down. Um, I just love the way they look. I love the way they dry down. I love that they're um, they're very comfortable. As I was doing the swatches, as I was removing them, I was only removing them with a tissue. The only one that was a little bit harder to remove was terracotta. Um, that one stained a little bit before I was able to remove it, and I had it on just about as long as the others. Um, but the longer you leave them on, the more they will sort of like stain and set. Um, so I was trying not to leave them on long enough to do that. But um, terracotta was the only one I had a little bit of trouble removing. But the rest, I don't have like really raw lips. They're really moisturized every time I would put a new color on because of the formula. It's just very moisturizing and uh, nourishing. So that's one thing that's a plus to these versus like other liquid lipstick sort of type like matte colors. Um, I haven't tried any, but I've heard people say that they can be really drying, um, really uncomfortable to wear. These are definitely not that. So while they're not transfer proof, they're definitely very comfortable and uh, they get very matte once they do dry down. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.